The Henry Viscardi School and the Viscardi Center are known throughout the world about how well we educate, employ, and empower children and adults with disabilities. Viscardi students enter here with a, a very limited vision of what their capabilities are and what they will be. Part of our challenge here is to expand their horizons. It's a small community. And it's not even a community to me, it's a family. We're all very close-knit. Every face has a name and every face is their own person. I really connected here. It, it's just genuine all around. Once you step through the front doors of this place, it does change your life. It, it really impacts you to want to do better. We decided that we were gonna make something special with uh, the Biscardi Center. A bunch of you probably remember about five years ago, we went on the first JetBlue Viscardi flight. What do you guys think about joining us on a flight to go back to Boston and have a lot of fun? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Our students talk about how significant it is to know people at JetBlue and, and the JetBlue crew members are changed forever in their yes. personal lives, in their daily lives. So it has a tremendous impact. The experience that we were looking to gain from uh, this relationship was to have a better understanding of how to deal with people with disabilities. Getting them on and off the plane, handling their very sensitive equipment, being able to stow it and to bring it back up and get them on their way. What we do is we bring these students to Boston. We have a day of fun planned for them where they join us at the New England Aquarium and then we go back and we have some more fun. So I was actually on the original JetBlue trip that took place five years ago. Being able to go on the JetBlue trip, uh, I think it really reassured me that going outside of like m my comfort zone, it's okay. We expect every child who goes to school here to think about what they're going to do when they leave. Are they going to go to college? Are they going to go to work? The last thing they really, we really want them to do is to go back and sit on the couch. I am a senior at Henry Viscardi School and I'm an incoming freshman at SUNY New Paltz. Next year I'm going to be attending Hofstra University and I will, uh, I'm going to be studying computer science. I'm going to study speech language pathology. Honestly, the school has helped me figure it out. They can do a lot from wherever their vantage point is and one of the great things is they get to see JetBlue as a real professional team of people. Taking a flight on JetBlue for the first time and maybe the only time in their life is a huge experience. It expands their, their belief in this world and what was going on. What you learn from these students is you do not feel sorry for them. They have taught our uh, many JetBlue crew members, may have some differences, but I'm just like you. And, and I think that's so important because it's what we as adults think we know, when in reality we don't. I want people to know we're physically able to communicate, even if we communicate in a different way. All it really comes down to respect. Don't be afraid to approach uh, somebody with a disability. I think it's important for people to be educated on disability. It's okay to ask questions, but it's not okay to judge. Don't stare. I mean, like, stare, but we're going to stare back. Everyone's different. You just got to get to know the person you're with. If you have a passion or a drive or a motivation within yourself and you connect with someone else, just as we've done with the Viscardi Center, it's going to work. I think it's important that people know, don't sit back. You can make a difference. Don't be afraid to make that difference because if you don't, someone else will.